a big shot unless we talking about hip hop. Bad at TikTok, but I'll make movies like Hitchcock. Challenge Mitch, ah, uh, you'll barely make it like trick shots. Check your wristwatch, it's time for you all to quit. Stop trying me. Yo, what up, everybody? This is Mitch Darrell, and this is the Mitch Darrell Show, and today. I'm super excited. This is this is part three. I've been waiting. I've been waiting for you guys to, to do something. This is part three of a segment I like to call Shh. Hush. <laughs> I've been sitting here. People are like, when's the next Hush edition coming out? And I started, I had this little thought where I was like, am I being too mean to people? Should I, should I stop doing the Hush segment? And then a post got made and some comments were commented. And I said, you know what? Hush is very necessary. I don't think it's mean. I think it's educational. And so we are back with Shh. Hush. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be kind of short. This is also be kind of going to be kind of vague. I think what I'm going to do, instead of putting people's actual comments up here, maybe that's a little bit mean. Even though I blur out their faces and everything, it's you can still find them. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep things very kind of blanket statement. But guess where we're going for this post? Guess. Just check. Just Right now, take two seconds and guess. Rapzilla, correct. It's Rapzilla. I love Rapzilla because their comments provide so much content. Okay, so everybody knows uh, this Friday, Beyonce dropped her Renaissance Part 1 project. It is a very dance-centric, a very dancey, upbeat, poppy project. And Drake, a couple months back, uh, released a, a, a very dancey dance hall house music uh, type of type of project. So Rapzilla, understandably, because we are in hip hop, uh, posts. Do you think Christian artists should embrace the current trend of mixing house and other EDM genres in their music, like Beyonce and Drake? Now, before even looking at the comments, I knew I was like, this is I'm gonna find something. And so let's just say I spent the next five minutes reading comments and replying hush to people. And here is why. I don't just do it for no reason. Here is why. Question is very valid. We are part of music. We are part of hip hop. These are two big artists that have, are seemingly shifting uh, what is current and what is popular and, and releasing dancey music. That hasn't been the case recently, right? So it makes sense to ask, you know, should you know, should Christian hip hop artists do this? Now, what I didn't see was a lot of people saying yes or no. My answer was, if it's good, I don't care what we do as long as it's good. If it's good. That's fine. You know, is it still rightfully so people are saying, is it still going to glorify God? If yes, then cool. I'm cool with it. That is an acceptable answer. Or if you don't like that type of music, an acceptable answer would be no. What I saw a lot of was people saying, I just want us to stop following the world. When are we going to stop following what the world does? Now, that statement by itself isn't wrong. We are Christians. We're not supposed to follow what the world is doing. The reason it's flawed in this context is is Christian hip hop. Without hip hop, worldly hip hop, there's no Christian hip hop. We are a sub genre of something that was worldly. Without, if you want to say, if you want to have the stance of why are we even asking this question? Because we shouldn't be following the world. There should be no Christian hip hop. If when we decided to come up with Christian hip hop, you were going to say, well, why are we going to follow what the world does and do hip hop? That's what the world does. No, we can take what the world does and flip it to honor God, right? That's the entire purpose of this genre. That's all of our purpose. That's what we do. So to for your answer to not be yes or no, but for it to be, when are we going to stop following the world? I just want to know when we're going to stop following the world. Why would we even do what the world is doing? That's what this whole genre is. <laughs> That's what Christian hip hop is. Now, a better discussion is, should we copy everything that, should we be copying people in general? Should we be copying big artists? If Lecrae starts doing dance music, should the rest of Christian hip hop start doing that? In general, I like when people are creative and do their own things. Um, so that's a whole different discussion. But to say, oh, Drake and why are you asking? Like somebody commented, why are we bringing up Drake and Beyonce when this is supposed to be a Christian only platform? What are you talking? No, there would be no Christian hip hop without worldly hip hop. There wouldn't be. We weren't first. <laughs> we were not. We are a sub, sub, sub genre. So it, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Like it would be different if we didn't, if we weren't an offshoot of hip hop, but we are. That doesn't mean we have to copy everything the world does, but we are going to come, we are a branch off from, from hip hop, right? So if your argument's going to be, uh, you know, why are we paying attention to the world musically? You got to hush. 
because here's the thing, whether you want to admit it or not, and somebody asked this question recently, like, I think it might have been the crew. We have to pay attention, at least right now, to what the world does musically. Not saying we have to do the exact same things or have the same content, but if I start to drop songs that sound like they're from 93, I'm not going to get my message across to anybody because music as a whole sounds different. So whether you want to call that copying the world, if I want my message to get across to people who aren't already Christian, wouldn't it make sense that I would try to sonically sound like something kind of relevant? That doesn't mean you have to make drill music, but it would make sense that maybe your drums would sound a little more modern, right? Maybe your set, your cadences might sound a little different, right? It doesn't mean you have to do these things, but it makes sense that you would try to kind of be palatable to today's time musically. That has nothing to do with your content. That doesn't mean just because I want to do dance music because I realize that in the whole scheme of music, the grand scheme of things, it's becoming popular, and maybe I want to do that. That's If you look at any of, uh, look at the last uh, couple Rapzilla freshman um, classes, None of them make music that sounds like it's from 2006. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And why do you think that is? Because no music sounds like that now. Does that mean they are following the world and copying the world? Or does it mean they just want to sound relevant sonically? Does that make sense? Does that make sense? <laughs> does it, no, can I get a hush? Can I get a hush? It, it bothered me so much. Because it's just like people see things of the world or people who are of the world or popular in secular music and think Rapzilla can't talk about them because they don't happen to be Christian. As if without secular music, we would be a thing. I don't know. I feel like I've made my point pretty clearly. I I, I feel better about not posting people's specific comments because maybe that can be mean. So I'll try not to do that from now on. I hope my point's making some sense. Um, Christian hip hop, now, we can do our own thing. We do do our own thing, I feel. While sonically we might sound like current times, I feel like listen to Jay Monty and tell me that he sounds like the world. It's, I just don't think you can do it. Listen, there's so many. If you listen to our content, just because our cadences might be the same or the beats doesn't mean we're making the same thing or following the world, right? We are flipping it. We are pimping it, if you want to use that language, for for a different purpose. So... And if you don't rock with that, then just don't rock with CHH. You can't. It's hypocritical to say we can't do take any inspiration from the world in Christian hip hop. Y- you already lost. It's Christian hip hop. Space bar. Hush button. I appreciate you guys. I'm sorry if I'm ranting a little bit. This might go in the rant category and the hush category, but these are fun to do. I feel like they're educational. I hope you guys take something from it. Um and remember, if you want to say something without being educated on it, hush. Appreciate you guys. Like and subscribe. Peace.